Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. And a question that I get asked a lot when people find out that I'm a New Zealander is why have you decided to live in Germany and not New Zealand? I get this question mostly from Germans actually who seem really confused as to why my family and I have chosen to live in Germany over New Zealand because I know that New Zealand is portrayed in film and TV as being this paradise and in a lot of ways it is a paradise, it's an absolutely beautiful country and I do feel very proud to be from New Zealand but there are definitely reasons why we have decided to stay in Germany and I know a lot of Germans they will visit New Zealand, they will fall in love with New Zealand, they get on this like big New Zealand buzz because you know the scenery, the landscape, it is stunning, the people are so nice and Germans they just fall in love with New Zealand, well many of them do so when I get that question of why my family and I have decided to live in Germany and not New Zealand, I always give people a pretty brief explanation. I always say that we feel that Germany is the best fit for our family at this particular time in our life, which is very, very true. That's the short answer. And I'm not saying that in the future we're not going to move to New Zealand. As I always say, it is a possibility. We're keeping our options open. But there's definitely good reasons why my family and I want to live in Germany right now. And I want to sort of do my best to explain these reasons in this video. So recently I have been doing a little bit of googling on the topic of New Zealand and Germany and I came across this website called ifitweremyhome.com This website was very fascinating for me because it kind of backed up some of the reasons why we have chosen to live in Germany right now and um, basically I want to tell you a little bit about this website I'm just going to be looking down because I'm going to be reading from the website. If it were my home.com is your gateway to understanding life outside your home, use our country comparison tool to compare living conditions in your own country to those of another. Start by selecting a region to compare on the map to the right and begin your exploration. You can basically compare any two countries that you'd like and so naturally I wanted to compare New Zealand and Germany and so I'm going to be sharing some of the facts and statistics that came up on this website. So before I get into this I just wanted to say please do not quote me on any of this information that I'm going to be sharing. I am getting this information from this particular website. This website have listed all of their information sources so you can check them out for yourself. This is just a little bit of fun. I thought it would be really interesting to compare life standards in Germany versus New Zealand. I get a lot of questions on this topic and all of these percentages are just rough estimates so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to be going through the points listed on this website and share my opinion and I am going to be looking down because I will be reading from the website so please bear with me. Okay so according to this website if Germany were your home instead of New Zealand you would have 26.89% more free time and this definitely doesn't surprise me because this is one of the reasons like a contributing factor to why we live in Germany right now. I'm not sure if it's like this all over Germany but I know that my husband Rob he works full time and he gets six weeks of paid annual leave every single year. He gets so many paid public holidays, there's so many public holidays here in Germany and he also gets you know sick days and he has recently just been on paternity leave. There is just amazing benefits for paternity and maternity leave here in Germany. I know that in New Zealand most companies allow their workers to have four weeks of paid annual leave a year which isn't bad at all. It's really great. But in Germany like six weeks that's pretty amazing. So right now my husband Rob he works full time. I'm a stay at home mom. I do work part time from home but Rob is sort of the main sort of breadwinner in our family and he works four and a half days a week and he has a half day every single Friday. So he finishes at 11.30 every Friday and this is amazing because he can have a long weekend and it just works out so well for our family. So he actually works a little bit extra every day to accumulate the hours to get you know a half day on a Friday but it is just so worth it. 
and I just love that we get to spend so much time together as a family. So the free time that you're entitled to in Germany is definitely a huge positive to living here. And I know Germans, they are super hard workers, but they also like to relax, you know, like everybody. So I could definitely go into a lot more detail and share a lot of facts about this particular topic of free time in Germany and in New Zealand, but I do want to get through all of these points. Um, okay, so the next point is, if Germany were your home instead of New Zealand, you would be 12 0.28% less likely to be unemployed. And it says here Germany has an unemployment rate of 5%, which is pretty low, while New Zealand has a 5.70% rate of unemployment, which is also relatively low. But on a whole, it is much easier to find a job here in Germany than in New Zealand, I would say. Okay, so this point I found really interesting. I get this question a lot about income in New Zealand compared to Germany. So if Germany were your home instead of New Zealand, you would make 29.93% more money. So this is based per capita. Okay, so it says here that they are basing this on American dollars for some reason. And it says that the GDP per capita in Germany is 39.500,000 a year, while in New Zealand it is 30.400,000 a year, so American dollars. And I don't know, I think this is relatively accurate, but I have definitely seen different statistics on other websites, so I guess you can just take this with a grain of salt really but um, you definitely earn more in Germany on average. But I do have to add that you may earn more at the end of the month or at the end of the year in Germany, but a huge portion of your paycheck goes towards insurances, mostly health insurance in Germany. So that is something to think about. Okay, so this next point I found very interesting. It says here that if Germany were your home instead of New Zealand, you would be 60.42% less likely to be in prison. So it says here 76 in every 100,000 people are currently imprisoned in Germany compared to 192 in New Zealand. And I think this is probably going to surprise a lot of people because people think of New Zealand as being such a safe country, but in reality there is quite a high crime rate in New Zealand compared to Germany. Now, I know that there are a lot of drug-related problems, robbery, things like that, and I'm not saying that there isn't a crime problem in Germany, there is, but I feel like it is far more of a problem right now in New Zealand. And even looking back over 20 years ago, when I was growing up in New Zealand, my dad had a surf and dive business. So my dad would design and produce surfboards and he sold diving equipment, he had a diving school. I remember my dad's business being robbed on a regular basis in New Zealand. I remember getting calls in the middle of the night and it would be the police saying you need to come in, somebody has broken into your shop. My dad even had somebody drive a car through the front window of his shop to steal surf and dive gear. And so, you know, even back then, that was well over 20 years ago, there was a huge problem with robbery. So once again, if you live in Germany, you would be 60.42% less likely to be in prison. That is huge, that is crazy. So this next point I also found very interesting. If Germany were your home instead of New Zealand, you would spend 42.27% more money on healthcare. That doesn't surprise me at all. You know, Germans may earn more per year, but a huge chunk of that goes towards health insurance. And one of the things I love about living in Germany is having the security, having quality health insurance that is available to everybody. And um, that's definitely a huge positive to living in Germany, in my opinion. Now, I could probably make a whole video on this topic. I'm going to keep it short. So as I mentioned before, because I'm staying at home with the kids right now, my husband is the main breadwinner in our family and his job covers all of our health insurance, the whole family's health insurance. And obviously a huge chunk of my husband's paycheck goes towards health insurance. 
but it is so incredibly worth it for that peace of mind you know as I mentioned having that quality health care so in Germany obviously health care it is not free you are paying into that but it is made very accessible for everyday people and this is something I love about Germany but also I have to add that you may be paying more for health insurance but in Germany things like food and clothing and you know toiletries and things like that are a lot cheaper so you know you have to weigh that up too okay so the next point if Germany were your home instead of New Zealand you would use 22.34% less electricity and I talked about this in a previous video I talked about the fact that when I moved to Germany I learned to be a lot more careful with electricity about saving electricity and I talked about the fact that Germans are very very careful with turning on lights they will only turn like one light on in the room that they're in and they will turn off all the rest of the lights in the house to save electricity not just that there are a lot of other ways that Germans save electricity which I won't get into but um, I really noticed that's something I definitely noticed it's just something that is just really ingrained in German children at a very very young age and I think this is a really really positive thing and not just that I feel like New Zealanders use a lot more electricity for heating their homes there's a lot of reasons behind this and as I always talk about New Zealand homes they're not as well built as German homes they're not as well insulated the heating is not as efficient in New Zealand and because of this New Zealanders are using a lot of electricity electricity powered heaters to heat their home and this is causing huge electricity bills so yeah this one totally made sense to me okay so the next point is not the nicest thing to talk about but I think it is worth mentioning so if Germany were your home instead of New Zealand you would be 30% less likely to be murdered you know that's horrible but it does make sense considering the crime rate in New Zealand is so much higher than in Germany and you know New Zealand is not as safe as people think it is and I know that a lot of New Zealanders are really shocked to hear that little tiny German kids are walking to school on their own or walking to the bus stop on their own but when you look at these statistics Germany is a safer place to live so it's not surprising that German parents are a little bit more relaxed about letting their kids walk to school on their own okay so another not so nice fact I have for you here I'm sorry to be bombarding you with all of this doom and gloom but it is reality if Germany was your home instead of New Zealand you would die 0.49 years sooner than in New Zealand so it says here that the life expectancy at birth in Germany is 80.44 years which I think is pretty good while in New Zealand it is 80.93 years so there's not much of a difference there you know I would be happy to live into my 80s I think that would be amazing so that's the average life expectancy you know just over 80 so if I can make it to 80 I would be really happy I would like to make it to 90 but um, 80 would be pretty good and so. last on the list it says if Germany were your home instead of New Zealand you would have 37.16% fewer babies which doesn't surprise me at all a lot of women here in Germany are very focused and very career driven and therefore they are waiting till their late 30s early 40s to try and start having children and then they can run into some fertility problems which definitely results in a lower birth rate and not only that people are just deciding to have smaller families in Germany I think the average family in Germany has like one or two children and this is considered a tiny family in New Zealand you know in New Zealand a lot of people are having like four children five children I think maybe the average is three children in New Zealand I come from a family of five kids we're all full siblings we have the same mother and father this is pretty common in New Zealand and I know that a couple of people who I went to school with already have like five kids I think a girl that I went to school with has six kids right now I don't know whether this is a good thing a bad thing I don't know um, and I know that you know the low birth rate in Germany is a problem right now so I don't know you can discuss that amongst yourselves I guess in the comment section so guys I have come to the end of the list and I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea about my intentions for making this video 
I am not hating on New Zealand, I'm just sharing some facts here. But I do get asked regularly about why my family have decided to live in Germany right now and not in New Zealand. And I think this can probably help you understand a little bit more about our decision for living in Germany. So anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and once again I just want to say do not quote me on any of these statistics in this video. I have just taken this information from this particular website. I will be linking this website in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves. You may want to compare two completely different countries. Out of interest, I actually compared the United States and Germany, which was very, very interesting. So if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye.